change is that I mentioned the comic book club, but we now have a graphic novels and comic option course at, at the senior level. So they actually draw, they, they dissect, they study the, the, the text. So I, I would say that has a lot to do with the collaboration between the documentation technician and the teacher. Options course, an elective that's offered to our senior students. It's an, one of our English teachers, he, he is running it. When I came in here, uh, Caroline was really highly recommended. And then I came here and I looked at the graphic novel section and it was like spectacular. I mean, we have the best graphic novel section of the Lesser B school board. I guess it's one of the top ones in any English school board in Quebec. Then flash forward maybe a year, we had a meeting. We wanted to do something about literacy in the school. And for me, literacy is a, perhaps the most important key to success for kids. And, and we were brainstorming and we had a committee. And then one of the things we came up with was a comic book club. A comic book club is a way of getting kids to read and having fun. And I remember as a boy, that I loved reading comics. To me, comics were not even reading. It was just having a great time. And I kept on reading comics, so I thought about opening up a comic book club. And thanks to Carol's support, we were able to start it. It first started off very small, only six kids, but we could get together in the library. And they grew up from six to presently, we have close to 30 students in the comic book club. So, I mean, from six to 30 in five years. It, it started off like that. And then um, I got to give uh, credit to Diane Prudhomme. So she's like, we're talking. She's like, you know what? Your comic book club seems to be doing very well. Have you thought about doing a comic option? And I'm like, sure, why not? Comics are the perfect merger of words with images. And you get to do that even more because they only give you a certain image and you get to fill in the middle. So you actually get to do more. So you get to imagine. So it just opens up your mind and, and it's so perfect for today's world because now, like especially the kids in the internet, there's so many more images. So kids need to be have what's called the visual literacy as well as literacy itself. And comics are the perfect medium for that. Yeah, and so it's been a wonderful experience to do that and, 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 and create comics and make things and where it's basically, you can combine both the um, deadlines, because you know, kids need to do deadlines, artistry and words, and into creating something in there that it's uh, like a labor of love, an artistic endeavor, and also a work of literature. Well, I mean, number one, I want them to include, to basically improve their literacy levels. Number two, their visual literacy levels. Three, I want them to grow as artists and to create their own comics and to find a way of expressing themselves both in words and in images. Because you have to understand that this is the ultimate medium to explore. I mean, and, and the stories that are come out, a lot of times are a bit more sophisticated than parents may realize. Because a lot of people just, when people think about comics, we all think about uh, Superman and Batman or the X-Men or the Iron Man, but there's more sophisticated stories to be told, like of students telling the stories about their lives or what happens in schools or what their interests are like some of my students focus more on sports comics or their own personal life you know dealing with anxiety or depression i mean i actually even have right now a student who's working on a personal project and this is not even my comic book uh, option class where she's going to be doing a graphic novel that deals with mental illnesses now think about it is a kid more liable to read a comic book on mental illnesses or read a book? Yeah, you know what the answer is. So sometimes what we got to realize is that we got the content and we know what we want to give uh, to deliver to kids. But a lot of times we're not finding the right medium. And comics is a wonderful medium because the images take you places. Uh, with a
for different like hallucinations or people that she sees. There'd be different speech bubbles showing like who's who and like what's actually real and not real. And how are we using color to tell that? We use different colors for putting the speech bubble when they're speaking and different colors will go with different like types of hallucinations or reality. Like maybe just like a plain white one could be um, for like actual humans talking and for when she's hallucinating something it'd be like multiple colors like yellow, pink or red. Yeah, like a different mix. Awesome. Cool. It's beautiful. Well, Comic Book Club meets once a week. We usually meet Thursdays in the library. So what we do is, it depends. The Comic Book Club is the students. And for example, at the beginning we start off like talking about comics. So we do trivia competitions. So for example, sometimes it's about manga, sometimes it's about regular comics. So sometimes we have, for example, um, uh, competitions of drawing comics for Art trailers. Sometimes we have uh, competitions just for like making uh, just a comic strip. We also have like the Lego building competitions. Sometimes we have, for example, just game board or playing card, you know, like a, a magic Pokemon card. So we do a lot of things like that. And sometimes the kids just need time to sit down and draw and talk with each other and be with other kids that have similar interest. The library, like the comic book club, and like hopefully all teachers in education, we have to adapt to our audience, to our clientele. What are we gonna do? Well, guess what? On a loose leaf or on your comic book notebook is where we're actually going to be planning. Now, some of you are gonna be telling me, Sir.